Yo, what's up guys, Sergio Kogo and here welcome to this new episode. In today's video, I'm back with a new Pro vs Pro and in today's video, we're gonna be facing SK Morton. I don't think Morton needs a lot of introduction. One of the most known Clash Royale players, definitely a legend in this game and we're gonna be playing a best of five. Whoever wins three games is gonna win the best of five. I think he's not currently online right now, so I will see you guys soon with the first match. Okay guys, hoping on to the first match. Let's see what Morton is gonna be playing. I personally went with this Royal Giant Psycho deck Looks like he's playing a deck with the Cannoneer, so Cannoneer is going to be very good against Royal Giant. Let's see what he's going to be playing. Okay, looks like he starts with Wallbreakers. Morton, I think he's especially known for his Psycho, uh, yeah, Minor decks. And looks like he might actually be playing Minor Psycho this time. So let's see how it's going to work out against this Minor Psycho deck. We have, I guess, decent um, yeah, defensive answers, but I think the most challenging part about this matchup is probably going to be... Um, yeah, reaching the tower in this case with the Royal Giants. I think it's gonna be pretty key to play Royal Giants in the back and then try to maybe cycle a second Royal Giant in some situations. Okay, looks like he does go with the Knight. So, what is his Evo? Does he have the um, Evo Wallbreakers? No, I think he has normal Wallbreakers, right? Yeah, I think he has normal Wallbreakers and then not sure what Evo he's running. Okay, let's go with Royal Giant in the back as I said. Let's then afterwards prepare the Fisherman here in the middle. I don't think I wanna um, yeah, over defend here on the left side. I'm just gonna let that be. And then here I'm gonna go, oh, that was a bad E-Spirit. Okay, very bad E-Spirit. I didn't actually, yeah, like count on the Fisherman pulling the Knight towards the Fisherman. So in this case, the E-Spirit just directly jumped on top of the Knight instead of hitting those bets. Okay, we do need to be careful with the Wall Breakers. Instead of defending the, um, yeah, Miner, in this case, I'd rather defend the Wall Breakers. Miner is gonna get a good amount of chip damage, but not as much damage as, for example, in this case, the... Um, the miner does okay let's see so interesting matchup here he is really good with this deck as i said i think it's one of his most uh, yeah popular decks morton always plays really well with these type of decks okay i'm gonna go road giant here at the bridge just to be annoying just to see what we can force out we can maybe force out okay he has bomb tower as well and then i'm gonna go with the e-spirit here okay nice good e-spirit is gonna take care of the bets but the bad thing is that he has cannoneer and cannoneer is actually extremely good against tanks not that good against spammy cards, but in this case, we barely don't have any spammy cards. I guess our only spam card um, is the, yeah, evil skeletons. Okay, I'm gonna go ghost here. I'm gonna go skellies as well. And then, oh, here's the zap. Okay, his evil zap. Yeah, I was already thinking, like, what, what is, uh, like, his evils? Because, of course, he didn't have the evil wallbreakers. He did show that he had the evil knight, but he was still missing an um, yeah, evolution, which in this case turns out to be the, um, the zap. Okay, interesting. So I'm guessing he doesn't have a big spell. I'm assuming that his only spells are gonna be, um, yeah, Lock plus Zep. Okay, I'm gonna go E-Spirit here towards the red side. And then I'm actually gonna go Royal Giant here at the bridge. Plus another Phoenix. We have double Phoenix. We have a Ghost there. We have a Fisherman. Looking decent, but as I said before, the Cannoneer is gonna be insanely good on defense. So I think this might be a um, yeah, really rough one. But let's see what happens. I mean, we will still, of course, try our best. In the meantime, the Phoenix is gonna make it to the tower. Looks like the Explosion is gonna get a little bit of chip damage. And in this case, um, we force out the evil zap on defense, which of course is really good. Okay, skeletons here on defense, plus a barbell, making sure that nothing um, yeah, gets to the tower. And then he's switching lanes. So it looks like he doesn't want to play in the same lane, which I think is a good decision by him, to be honest. Okay, let's go fisherman here. Let's then go with a ghost towards the right side. And then I'm also going to go skellies on top of this minor, plus the e-spirit off to the side, just to make sure we are not too predictable with the um, what's it called with the e-spirit okay nice looking very good right now wait we can actually maybe fireball this um bomb tower yeah i think i should still fireball this let's go fireball right now perfect let's go with skeletons towards the right side the good thing is that he has to yeah zap those skeletons because he has a cannon here if it was a normal tower the skeletons on the right side he did not have to defend them but in this case right now being um yeah cannon here he does have to defend it okay very nice connections oh my god so much damage there Okay, let's go like this, let's go like that, let's go skeletons here to distract those bats. And then he's applying a lot of pressure, we need to be careful. Okay, good defense, 700 HP on his left side tower. Okay, let's see, let's go with Phoenix here towards the left side. And then, in the worst case situation, I guess we just have to... Okay, let's go purple here, E-Spirit off to the side. I just don't really want to make um, the predictable plays here with the skeletons, with the um, E-Spirit on defense. Because he might, yeah, just zap them or he might just fireball, or excuse me, lock prediction them. Okay, nice. Let's go with a fireball here. And then this fireball is mainly just to get damage going, to be honest, because um, it's going to be kind of hard to get to the tower with the Royal Giant. So my main goal with these fireballs is just to, yeah, get some chip damage going, honestly. Okay, let's go Ghost here. Let's go with the E-Spirit off to the side. And then I'm going to go with another Royal Giant plus Fisherman here at the bridge. Okay, perfect. Let's go Skeletons on defense. He does go with a Prediction Lock. Very nice play by him. Let's go with the Ghost here on defense as well. And I'm honestly just going to go Fireball on the tower here. Like, I don't really, yeah, have many ways to get to the tower besides the fireballs so i'm just gonna try to get as much damage possible with these fireballs 
And then here I'm gonna go with um, Esprit off to the side, making sure he can't get the prediction lock. And then let's go Fireball here offensively. 18 seconds left, we just need to cycle towards our Fireball right now. Okay, goes to defense, Esprit prediction for the wall breakers. Let's go with um, Barber on defense, and I think this should be good game. Nice, okay. Very nice W there, very nice game. Let's give him a good game. Very well played to Morton. I guess the main um, yeah, problem for him was that he didn't have a big spell. I think if we play the same matchup, but he has, for example, Poison, it's um, yeah, a little bit easier for him, but in this case, he didn't really have a way to deal with, for example, our Phoenix. And I think we did a good job at cycling while also defending pretty well. So, very nice W. I will see you guys soon with the second match. Okay, guys, hoping into the second match, I decided to go with this uh, yeah, kind of new meta bridge pam drill deck like it's both the bridge pam deck plus a drill deck at the same time and looks like morton is gonna be playing um yeah lock bait okay very interesting version here we unfortunately don't have lock in this deck as you guys can see i'm running it with the evil zap so lock bait might actually be a hard matchup good thing for us is that we have the evil bomber evil bomber is actually really good against the uh, yeah goblin barrel and then i guess we do have a decent amount of answers for like princess and stuff like that not sure about this version but i'm assuming he's gonna be running it with the princess okay let's go goblins here up front let's go with a ghost here in the back and then, okay, looking pretty good to, yeah, apply pressure on both lanes in this situation. I'm gonna go ability left side, and afterwards I'm gonna go Goblin Drill towards the right side. Okay, he used the Valkyrie. We can maybe get a nice Zep on the Skeletons. There you go, there's the Skeletons. Let's go with Zep right away. And then thanks to that, we do get a little bit of chip damage to his right side tower. Oh my god, a lot of chip damage, actually. I didn't expect the Goblins to survive. In this case, they end up surviving. Okay, so very nice damage there. Little Prince also gonna get a little bit of chip damage to the left side tower, and I guess here we can keep other pressure. We don't have the evil wall breakers, by the way. I am running it with the evil bomber, and I'm also running it with the evil... Um, what's it called? Okay, let's go ghost here. Oh my god, please tell me that the ghost... No, unfortunately, it didn't hit the wall breakers. And the wall breakers... Okay, only luckily for us, one gets to the tower, but still a lot of damage there. Let's have the zap ready. There you go. There's the evil skeleton. So let's go zap right away. And thanks to the zap, the bandit is gonna get to the tower. Ghost is also gonna get a lot of chip damage, and that's already looking pretty good for us. If he goes with golden barrel, we have the bomber ready. Okay, looks like he goes with Spirit. The Spirit is not going to make it to the tower. As you guys can see, we are running the um, yeah, Cannoneer. So the Cannoneer here is going to do a good amount of um, yeah, work on defense. Okay, let's go Goblin Drill here off to the side. Let's afterwards, I think, pressure with some wall breakers. If I'm not wrong, he doesn't have a small spell. Which should be able to help out quite a bit um, yeah, in this situation. Okay, nice. Very good placement. And then I guess here we will just have to wait a little bit. And I can prepare Little Prince up front. If he goes with the Goblin Barrel, I'm just going to go with the ability. Okay, looks like he doesn't go with Goblin Barrel. I think I'm still gonna go with Ability here, just to be annoying, and I'm gonna keep under pressure. Okay, we have the Evil Zap ready. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna go with um, the Evil Zap on top of the Dark Goblin. Instead, I'm just gonna go with the Bandit, and then afterwards, we can go with Evil Zap on top of the Drill. Okay, let's go with Zap now. Perfect, let's go Wall Breakers here as well. Look at the right side tower. Oh my god, I think that's gonna be almost tower down. Not quite yet, but still a lot of damage dealt. Okay, we need to be careful here, because if I'm not wrong, he does have the Evil wall breakers or he doesn't have it yet or what is he even running does he have evil wall breakers in this deck or not okay nice good defense let's keep under pressure on both lanes here let's go bandit plus goblins left side let's go wall breaker split in the meantime the right side is looking also very good because we do have the evil bomber still available and the evil bomber might be able to splash on top of the tower if it hits the valkyrie okay let's prepare the little prince look at the evil bomber guys it's so broken oh my god let's go with little prince here and this is gonna be such an insane ability as you guys can see we end up cleaning up the okay let's go with zap here nice very good zap and it should be towered down on the right side with this goblin barrel if not we can just cycle towards another zap let's go with wall breakers let's go ghost towards the left side and this should be um yeah tower down zap is gonna be enough so 2-0 right now let's give him a good game very nice gameplay there very um yeah good matchup i think he didn't have any spell if i'm not wrong his only spell um or yeah he didn't even have a spell i was thinking that for some reason he had rocket but it was just an insanely quick lock bait cycle deck so 2-0 so far let's see what we can uh, yeah do in the next match see you guys soon with the third match okay guys so i decided to copy morton's lock bait cycle deck i'm actually a big fan of lock bait so as you guys uh, yeah might already know we should be able to do a decent job here with this deck looks like a fun deck to be honest okay let's give him a good luck and let's see what he's gonna be running. Oh, looks like he has the Evil Bomber. Imagine we switch the matchup. Imagine now he's using the deck we were running. And then we're using... Oh, looks like he has Lava Hound. Okay, we're in a big problem, guys. Why? Because we don't have anything good against Lava Hound. Besides Dart Goblin. Like, our only defensive card is gonna be the Dart Goblin here. So, not really sure what we can do. But I guess we can go with Wallbreakers here just to pressure a little bit. Just to be a little bit annoying. And in the meantime, I guess I'm gonna somehow have to cycle back to another Dart Goblin. While trying to, yeah, somehow defend this. Okay, let's go skeletons here. Let's go with fire spirit on defense, but this is not looking good, guys. 
Okay, bad idea to copy Morten's deck. I think this is already gonna be almost our down. We can try to survive a little bit here, cycling another Dark Goblin. But anyways, this is gonna be a very rough matchup. Even if we end up not losing the tower, this should be able to um, yeah, be a really rough matchup. Okay, we can try to uh, uh, like take advantage of Single Elixir. I'm gonna go with Goblin Barrel towards the right side. I'm gonna go with the Evil Skellies on the left side, but he has the Zap available. So that's not gonna do that much. Okay, so looking very rough right now, to be honest. Tower on the right side is gonna go down. Unless something crazy happens, I think this should be um, yeah, a loss for us. But as I said, first player to get three wins should be able to, or will be able to take the, the best of five. So we're only one win away, but we do need to be careful. I don't wanna get reverse sweep, to be honest. Okay, let's go with Fire Spears to the left side. And let's then afterwards cycle Dark Goblin here as well. Okay, we force out the Evil Bomber, which is nice. And then I guess we can go with Goblin Barrel here. And I'm going to go Skeletons plus Evil Wallbreakers on the left side. Okay, good amount of pressure. I like the pressure we're applying right now. Um, okay, he does go with Guards. He does go with a Zep as well. Nice defense by him. We Wait, did that connect to the tower? I don't know if that connected to the tower, but it seemed like it, right? Okay, let's go Dark Goblin here. Let's then go with a Goblin Barrel towards the right side. Let's go with Skeletons here. Let's go with Fire Spirit. I'm just going to try to apply as much pressure as possible with this Lock Bay deck. Okay, he does go with Arrows. He misses the Dark Goblin though. Dark Goblin is going to get a little bit of chip damage, and I'm wondering if we somehow can still take the tower. Okay, let's see. Let's go. I think with Valkyrie here, I'm going to go Goblin Barrel like this. Skeletons here as well, and then I'm going to go... Okay, let's wait a little bit. Nice. Let's go Double Spirit to take care of these minions. No, unfortunately, Fire Spirit jumped on top of the, um, the minions there. Nah, this is going to be game. This is going to be game over, guys, unless we pull off, like, our best defense ever, but I don't think it's even possible. Yeah, he even has the Evil Sap available, so that's going to be game over here and then unfortunately we do end up losing the third match i guess it was a bad idea to copy his lock by deck it's given a good game very well played by him i think i saw this deck i think op sam one of his teammates did actually run this deck on ladder so yeah very strong deck as well right now i guess i will see you guys soon in the next match okay guys there you go we're ready for the fourth match as i said before the first person to win three matches is gonna win the best of five so we are two one right now if we win this match it's gonna be a w for us if we lose this match it's gonna go to a fifth game so we need to focus up here to be honest. I don't really want to get reverse sweeped. Morten is of course an amazing player. So if it ends up happening, I guess it's not a big deal. But being this close to the victory, I want to try and secure it. Okay, so let's see what he's going to be running. Looks like he has Little Prince. I'm guessing it's some cycle deck here. Tesla as well. We decided to go with this Giant Graveyard deck. I think this Giant Graveyard deck usually does pretty well against cycle decks. So that's why I um, yeah decided to pick it. Okay, let's go Little Prince here on defense. I guess I'm not even going to go ability. I think the Little Prince will just... Yeah, trade this Guardian without getting too much damage. Okay, looks like only one shot, so I guess it's fine. And then here we can go with a Dark Prince on defense. So Dark Prince is going to help out quite a bit against the Royal Hawks, but it's still going to get a decent amount of chip damage here. Okay, the good thing is that we have a counter push on both lanes. Like in this case, he's going to defend Dark Prince. Well, afterwards, also still to... Um, yeah, he still needs to defend the Giant Graveyard push. Okay, let's go Graveyard now. Let's have the arrows ready. If he goes with Tesla, I'm going to go arrows right away to kill the Bomber, to also kill the Tesla. And then here we need to be careful with the Evil Skeletons. Yeah, I was about to say he did already cycle the Evil Skeletons. So in this case, we can go with Snowball right away. And the Giant, thanks to the Snowball, is going to make it to the tower. We'll be able to get a good amount of chip damage. Do need to be careful here because he does have an insanely quick cycle. And the Evil Bomber in some situations can be very scary. I need to be careful when, for example, playing Little Prince. Um, okay, let's go Little Prince here. Wait. Please tell me that I didn't play it too low. Oh my god, I played it too low. I should have played it one tail higher. And that's going to be tower down because of the evil bomber. Okay, almost tower down because of the evil bomber. 140 HP left on the right side. And I'm actually joking this best of five. Okay, I need to focus up because I don't want to lose as I said. And we're actually going to lose this matchup. And then we have to go to a fifth game. Okay, I'm going to keep the pressure. I'm going to go with Dark Prince plus Graveyard here. Um, should be quite annoying for him to deal with this push. Okay, nice. And I'm actually going to force out something else on defense um defending this little prince okay this is still winnable to be honest like it's not the best situation guys but i definitely think it's still winnable okay let's go archers in the back to start cycling the evil archers and then i'm gonna go i think with a giant in the back here to make this um yeah insane big push even though i think it's gonna be important to pressure both lanes to be honest i'm gonna go little prince opposite lane okay perfect let's prepare the dark prince behind the giant and then we need to be careful here guys i'm actually very afraid Okay, let's see. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna go arrows here. Nice. I'm gonna go graveyard here as well. Then I'm gonna go ability right side and evil bats to the right side as well. Okay, let's go snowball like this. Very good snowball. Okay, very good snowball. Look at the right side as well. Please tell me it's gonna be enough. Please tell me the Dark Prince hits. No, the Dark Prince didn't hit. 249 HP. 
And that's, I think, gonna be tower. No, I should have actually graveyard. I don't know why I went with arches. I think the graveyard anyways. Maybe it wouldn't have taken the tower, but it probably would have been um, get the best shot. I did have... I was just like, okay, I want to try to take the tower. When I saw 249 HP, I kind of uh, yeah, didn't know what to do. And oh my god, guys, it's actually 2-2 two -two right now. We're going to have to play a uh, fifth game. Let's think about what deck we're going to play for the fifth game. So let's see the decks we played. Let's see the decks Morton played. So the first game, we played the Royal Giant deck. We ended up winning. Second game, I played this Drill deck. We ended up winning. And then he played this um, Galava Loon deck. And now he played this royal hawk cycle deck so i'm not really sure what to play to be honest i guess i will think a little bit about it and i will see you guys soon with the last match okay guys i decided to go back with the drill zap deck i liked how we played it before let's see if it works out and let's see if we can uh, yeah secure this victory and then win the best of five we were up to zero it will be painful to lose this best of five but anyways very nice game so far i like the way morton is playing and i think we've also been playing pretty good during this best of five we did make us uh, yeah a few mistakes especially this last match i feel like i could have um, ended up winning this last match but i guess it's fine okay looks like morton decided to use um the giant graver deck we just played and the bad news about this is that we don't have a really good counter against the um, okay let's go goblin drill here we don't really have a good counter against the graveyard to be honest like our graveyard counters are not that great Okay, let's go ability towards the right side and i think the cannoneer will be able to deal a good amount of damage towards the giant so that's the good thing i guess i mean against giant it's a great um yeah tower troop to have but against the graveyard it's not really the best tower troop to have look at the card on the right side as well i probably should have ended up defending this card and i guess here we can um get yeah, keep under pressure a little bit i'm gonna go goblins on defense well we try to defend as good as possible okay nice ghost on the right side i'm gonna have to separate it just in case he goes with bets I guess in this case, I'm going to go bets on the left side. Or zap on the left side on top of the bets. Okay, let's see what the Bennett does. In this case, won't end up connecting because he does have the, the cannon here as well. So, okay, this is going to be crazy, guys. I feel like the evil zap is going to help out a little bit against the graveyard. In some situations, it actually deals a good amount of um, yeah, damage. Okay, let's go bowler here. Or let's go, excuse me, let's go wallbreak is here. He does go with the bowler. And I guess he's going to also... There you go. Um, yeah, go with arrows. Okay, that's good. I mean, as long as we force out a lot of elixir and troops on defense, I think we should have a chance here. But I definitely don't want to make him, um, yeah, make like a huge push with the giant with the graveyard because then we're going to have, yeah, some big problems. Okay, let's see what he's going to do. Is he going to go arches, I guess? Oh, he, oh, that's true. He also has guards. Okay, I forgot about the guards. I don't know why. For what card does he have guards? That's interesting. Okay, let's go here. Let's go Goblin Drill as well. And then I think we did outcycle his arrows, if I'm not wrong. Okay, let's go Wallbreakers. Now I'm going to go Evil Zap here as well. Evil Zap is going to help kill the bats. And then might also be able to help um, yeah, connect to the tower here on the right side. Okay, nice. I'm just going to try to yeah keep under pressure while also trying to defend as good as possible. Okay, let's see what we can do here, guys. Okay, let's see. Let's try to... I'm going to Zap on defense. Then I'm going to go... Goblins here to try and kill those archers, but I think we ended up losing and we actually got reverse sweep. There's no way that we ended up losing this best of five. We were looking so good. I was up to zero. I guess I just went a little bit um, yeah, too confident. And then afterwards, unfortunately, we did end up losing the best of five, but still a very nice best of five. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to smack the like button. Also, do let me know in the comment section down below who you guys want me to face in a future video, in a future Proverse Pro. Could be any pro player, could also be content creators. I did end up messing a few content creators. Some people aren't really down to play best of fives, but at least I can try. Just let me know what content creator or what pro player you would like to see in the next. So let's give him the GG's to Morton. Very nice gameplay, very nice games. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. If you did, please make sure to smack the like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel, feel free to subscribe. And I hope to see you guys in one of my next videos. Take care, guys.